welcome to the Kite Buggy Experience. This is my brand new channel where I'm going to go through the experience of me kite buggying, quite simply, hence the name. So, this first video I'm going to show you my current kite buggy and my quiver of kites. Granted, they're all in their bags because it's one degree, it's the middle of February and it's cold. And it's the UK, so it's very cold. But I'm going to go through what I've got and then as the year develops, um, the plan with this channel is to show you live footage of me boogieing with my GoPro mounted on the buggy, GoPro mounted on the kite, up at the beach with my friends to get their buggies um, and anyone else that I can meet up with. It'd be nice to meet some other people that do it. Uh, and yeah, if I can adapt my buggy, make it better, build on it, weld it, anything. This is the whole experience about kite boogieing. So without further ado, let's show you my current buggy and the quiver of my kites. Turn the camera around. So my kites are currently all hung up on the wall, with the exception of something that I'll tell you in a second. So when I first started kite bugging, I actually used uh, flexi foil stackers, which are two line kites, not very good for bugging, but it did work and it showed us that I like bugging and my friend had stackers as well, or two stackers each. They've since been sold and I've moved on. So what I got after then, after that, is I got a four meter exit kite. Nice and cheap, four line, first four line kite I've ever got, bought it brand new, cost me 80 quid. Um, and again, it proved that I needed four lines because it gave me much more power for bugging. Uh, after that, I then got a two and a half meter bullet, flexi foil bullet, and I've also got a bar for it, as you can see, because that's sticking out at the top. Um, which is great, but when the, the, the idea of it was, was to use that when the wind's picked up. But I don't like it because it's too fast for me for bugging. It turns far too quick. Uh, and I like them a bit slow and sluggish in the sky from buggying because I like going buggying for speed and power not for jumps or anything like that so I don't want them to be mega fast uh, after the bullet I then got a 4.9 meter blade 3 flex foil blade 3 which I'm currently trying to sell because it scares the hell out of me even though I've got bigger kites that one scares me that is the only kite that's pulled me out of my buggy like pulled me straight out because it was that powerful and there's that much lift with it very scary if i've still got it when someone comes around i'll get it out and we'll get some videos of it but if not that one will be gone i then got a six meter exit kite i got that one cheap uh, i got your second hand that cost me like 100 quid uh, i've had all my kites like 10 years so the bags you know they're old because i've had them 10 years except for that one that one's old but i've only had it a year um so yeah i've had them quite a long time hence why they look a bit rough and i go to the beach and stuff like that uh, after that, I ended up buying this, which is a RRD Type 8, and it was a 9 meter, which was the first kite I've ever had, and the only kite I've ever had that I had to inflate with a pump. It was like designed for water sports, and they used it for buggying, uh, and it was great. It was scary. It had the bar, the bar kept sticking a bit, and I couldn't free it up a lot, so the power scared me because it just pulled me when I didn't want it to pull me. And unfortunately, I had an accident with it with my friend, and it ripped it off. I only bought it second hand, paid 150 quid and I had a couple of years with it, so I'm, I'm alright with that. And then last but not least is I bought this one, my Gorilla. Absolutely love it. It's a inflatable kite, but one that you inflate with the wind, not um, with a pump. It's 10 metres, so it's the biggest kite I've ever had. And it's four lines, but has no bridles. And it's the most stable kite I've ever had. I can let go of my bar and it will sit in the sky and just float. And it will stay there so I can stop and have a drink and eat and chat and then pull the bar and away I go. Love it. Absolutely love it. It's the best kite I've ever had and I want more like that. But that is actually from 2003. So it's 17 years old. But I still love it. I've only had it a year. I paid 100 and something quid. 120 quid, 130 quid last year. Yeah. Anyway, we move on to what is my buggy. Now some of you might have expected me to have like a really fancy buggy with really big fat wheels and stuff like that. No, not at the moment. This is what I have. So this is a Peter Lynn XR buggy. I've had, like I've said, about 10 years. Uh, very quickly, I got a wide axle for it because I was flipping out of it. Because the normal axle was about here. And I was just flipping out of it. So I'm quite a big chap. I'm six foot seven tall. So I, I'm, I'm, yeah, it just pulls me out. My, my center of gravity is quite high. So it pulled me out of the buggy. So the wider axle hasn't changed my center of gravity. It just makes it a lot harder for it to try and pull me out. And unless I'm flying the blade, it doesn't. So I'm quite happy with that. Uh, I then added a backrest onto the back of it. 
which is a piece of bent metal tube and there's some foam on it and it just clamps on and it gives me great support the seat isn't attached at the front because like i said i'm six foot seven and i push it all the way back and um, it gives me the extra room that i need for my legs i do have the longer down tube so that is actually the long down tube and it's in the longest position that is a ground stake <laughs> this is a piece of the uh, material from my broken kite which i turned into a makeshift guard to try and stop mud and sand flicking up at my face uh, and then it just goes to the front so the standard front forks <coughs> and with this standard like barrow type wheels now the issue i have with this buggy is the wheels dig in a lot uh, hence why i probably have such a big kite to pull me along this year i'm hoping to change the wheels to midi wheels which are the same sort of size on the actual you know on the plastic but the tires are wider and flatter so i shouldn't sink in as much last year i managed to clock 38 mile an hour on my gps which is the fastest i've ever gone scared the crap out of me um not sure if i want to go faster than that on this buggy but if i get the new wheels it will certainly be easier to get there now there's a chance down the line that I'm, i'll get the new wheels and i might have to make some new front forks that's what i'm going to learn to weld on making new front forks that are wider um there's also a chance that uh, in summer that i might absolutely love kite, bug kite buggying and do it as often as i can I want a bigger buggy, so I end up getting one of the longer ones with the bigger fat wheels on it anyway. So, we'll just have to cross that bridge later in the year when I get there. Because it might happen. And I am tempted, because the second hand are quite cheap now. So, so this is my, this is, that's, that's my buggy. That's my kite set up at the moment. That's all I can show you for now. Um, Come back for more videos when the weather's better and I get everything out. And I start showing you stuff. I just can't wait. If I manage to pick up the wheels and that beforehand, uh, I'll let you know. I'll put a video up and you guys can see that. So thank you very much for watching. I will see you in another video when the weather picks up. Because at the moment we're in between two storms. Um, take care. Ciao. Goodbye. Oh, P.S. I just remembered. Um, I have four other channels that are about different things. The links for them are in the description. If you're interested, check them out. Thank you very much. I'll see you in another video soon. Ciao. Thank you.